Give it up for what's his face. Come on. Wow. This is so exciting. One more time for the band doing a great job all night. Thank you for coming to my grandma's house. Don't get too loud on your way out. I don't want to wake her up. This is crazy. HBO Canada doesn't get any smaller than this. Why do you have your pocketbook, your purse on your lap? Like I'm gonna grab it and run out the fake door. <laughs> Are you doing that so the camera guy doesn't shoot your vagina? <laughs> I mean, camera lesbian, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Sir, you have shorts on in the front row, you realize that? Could you put your legs together, please? He's got one ball hanging out the left side. <laughs> Great to be here in Montreal. I love coming up here. They have the best comedy audiences, the greatest people. I know how to say one thing in French. You ready? Yes. Bon Jovi. <laughs> I feel like I could tell you people anything. I found a lump on my testicles. Doctor said it was my dick. <laughs> he thinks I should have it removed. A lot of cute girls here. I'd fuck these two guys to get to you. <laughs> and tell me you wouldn't be down for it, come on. I met a cute girl yesterday, she's like, follow me on Twitter. I was like, fuck that, I'm gonna follow you in real life. <laughs> Have you guys been watching this AIDS documentary on Fox? I think it's called Glee. <laughs> I hope those kids are okay. I had to fly yesterday. They always give you the shakedown. The guy was wanting me at security at the airport. He had all gold teeth. I'm like, I think it's you, motherfucker. <laughs> so I want to do a love poem. I need someone who knows how to play a little bit of keyboard. You don't have to be good. Just somebody who can back me up. I'm last, so it'll be a great way to bring home the night. So I need a volunteer, anyone at all. How you doing? I'm gonna try my best. What's your name? Have a seat, have a seat. What's your name? Yeah. You know him? Yeah. How do you know him? She, uh, we go way back. I like your fucking style, buddy. Thanks, bro. You see, um, I wasn't gonna make it tonight, but uh, the last minute someone poured me a drink and this man invited me up on stage, so. I invited anyone up on stage, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure this is your big break or anything, I'm just saying, volunteer from the audience. I don't know I was gonna get a fucking uh, Indiana Jones's nephew. <laughs> but it's fucking awesome, buddy. I love your fucking energy, man. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. I just wish I just wish they served drinks in this room. Am I, I alone don't here? Drinks? You got a fucking drink right there? No, I do, but uh, why are you holding a mic like it's a black cock? <laughs> I'm gonna warm up a little bit. I'm not really a pianist. I like what I hear so far. My father owned a piano shop, and uh, as I grew up as a young child, I would often play one song, and one song only, and it went like this. I want to fuck you so bad right now. 
just, it's just what I feel in my heart. It's the only song I know. Will that work? You keep playing it. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Is it not beautiful? Keep playing it. I'm gonna read this. Can we dim the lights? Dim the lights a little bit. Maestro. Don't talk for a couple seconds. There's a love poem. This is from my friend Stacy. She requested this tonight. It's for my cat. Anybody here have a cat? It's called Here Kitty. But on Netflix, on Netflix, it is possible to run out of genocide documentaries. I have a, my own idea for a new social networking site. It's, it's like Twitter, but it's called Fritter. And on Fritter, what you do is you tell people in the moment what you could have been doing with your life if you weren't wasting it reporting on your mundane activities. 